Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your Christmas general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Um, Christmas song that I um, picture for you guys is like rocking around the Christmas tree, so maybe you have a little bit to drink. <laughs> this Christmas. Eight of Wands has jumped out there. You can find information regarding how to contact me and personal readings, what cards I use in each of my videos in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's see. Ooh, we have these wands reversed here. Um, may have just been like your, um, birthday and you know you may have been out partying for that so maybe that's why i'm getting this rocking around the christmas tree song for you guys eight of wands reversed and the two of wands reversed here so maybe a lot of things was happening at once or you didn't want to rush and make a decision here um because you may feel like you're lacking some information to make a decision um you may have wanted, you know, communication in the past and now you're just like, okay, I'm going to take my time. There's a lot of things going on. I'm busy with other things. I'm trying to start creative projects. So relationship wise, I don't want to make any decisions here because um, you could even be still hung up on somebody from the past or um, you're just deciding not to rush things at the moment here could be somebody you're dealing with because we do have cross watchers energy as well so they may have decided not to communicate yet and not make a decision on the connection yet so that's why we have that in reverse four of pentacles okay but they haven't let go okay so even if you haven't heard from them or you haven't spoke to them um you haven't let go it's like you you haven't made a decision one way or the other, but you ha you can't let go. Or maybe like your heart and your head say different things here. Your head is saying, let go, and your heart is holding on. So that's why we have the two of wands reversed, because it's like, um, I'm undecided. I can hear the Chris Brown song, but I don't know it. It's a new one and I'm old. So I remember the original, which is called um, I Love Your Smile. Um, even though I love Chris Brown, I don't really particularly like that song. Um, I think it says I'm undecided. So this is um, what's going on, this energy, like an undecided energy. Um, you know, you could have that mismatch between your head and your heart here. You could be busy and distracted with new things. So although you, you know, want this person, you may be trying to distract yourself with other things. Like I said, you may be going out like partying, um, but your heart still seems to be very strongly with somebody else or... It could be somebody else's heart is very strongly with you and they're trying to forget or not make a decision. <laughs> Four of Swords reversed here. So these, again, it's we have the Four of Pentacles upright and the Four of Swords reversed. So it's we're not healing from this situation. We're not over it yet. We're trying to be, like, your thoughts are trying to be elsewhere, trying to be moving on, but your heart seems very much stuck or holding on, if you want to say, um, with somebody else here because it's like the Four of Swords can be seen as healing, um, but here it's like reverse. So it's, And Swords are about speech and about thoughts. So, you know this mismatch of the head and the heart you know you could be even saying I don't want to know that person but in reality inside where it counts you know you may still be holding on or annoyed at yourself with the eight of wands reverse that you know why are I forgetting them 
you know, why are they still on my mind? Because sometimes, you know, when relationships break down, um, it's because somebody mistreated you. So you may be like, after all they did, why am I still holding on? And you could be saying to friends and people, could be like some sort of negative talk, like I don't want them. So you're not really doing yourself any favours because maybe you want to secretly hear from them, but, you know, what you're saying out loud is a different thing. So you're confusing, um, you know, the divine, your higher self, because your higher self doesn't know that you're joking, you know? So don't ever joke on things like that. Three of Wands, upright, yeah, you're waiting. It's like waiting for some good news. And to be honest, it's coming here, okay? So, it, like I said, you've got this mismatch of energy. Like, I'm waiting to hear from them and speaking out loud. I don't want to hear from that person. I don't care about that person. That sort of energy here, okay? Um, so, if you're doing that, stop it, <laughs> okay? stop it um but there's good news coming in okay somebody's coming in we speak of the three of wands about your ships coming in in this deck it's more like communication is coming in okay we see up here there has been no communication but it's coming <coughs> excuse me um the two of wands maybe the decision wasn't in your hand maybe they blocked you with the four of pentacles here so all you could really do was wait and if they wasn't making any movement here with the Four of Swords reversed, it was hard for you to, you know, heal or understand. It may be that you was waiting on even closure, a conversation. And that's that's what's coming, this conversation. But the Three of Wands is a positive, so that's why we say good news is coming. Okay, so Eight of Cups and the Devil Reverse. So, you know, walking away from toxic behaviours again. If you've been over drinking to maybe um, get over somebody or this could be what somebody's been doing to you, maybe taking some sort of substance. The Devil Energy is addictive energy. So they're trying to walk away from that before reaching out, okay? And again, eight of cups, eight of wands. It seems like you're in this cycle of, I don't care about them. Yes, I do. You know, like, why am I holding on if I don't care? So you may find that sometimes, you know, when you're busy, you feel like, I, I feel good, I feel great. I've, you know, walked away from this energy and this connection. And then other times... You may feel drawn back in and stuck to this energy even. Like, why can't I get over this or pass this, walk away from this devil energy? Like I said, they could be, they could have mistreated you. It's like not quite over this toxic behavior, whatever they've been doing or whatever you've been doing. It can go either way. So in order for this connection to come in, you know, both parties need to be away from whatever toxic behaviour it is. It could just be speaking about people negatively. It can be a Capricorn you're dealing with or another fire sign, as we have a lot of wands here. But, you know, whatever you believe it is within you, um, walk away from that sort of energy. Even if you don't want to be with them and you want to let go of the connection, but you're not quite there yet, doesn't mean you have to speak, you know, on something like negative. Just try and um, say positive things. You know, I let go and I'm open to new love and new connections. It could very well be them, okay? Because we have cross watchers energy, so it could be very well be, um, you know, the soulmates party that they tried to walk away here. They tried to forget you even and they can't do it. OK, because it's they feel stuck in this devil energy and um, this infinity sign, the eight. They keep coming back to um, you, for example. They keep coming back to thinking about you 
um, and a feeling for you when they thought they made a decision to leave, you know? So I feel like you'll hear some news uh, very soon with the Three of Wands there. Judgment reversed. Um, so yeah, it's not quite time. You may be feeling like, well, I'm always waiting. I always see the three of wands or the seven of pentacles in readings. I'm always waiting. Um, but the thing is here, um, it's got to be the right time. You've both got to have walked away from sort of a negative energy, especially if you want to go back to somebody or want to meet somebody new. You're waiting for somebody new to come into your life. You may still be hung up on the past or may have not learned that lesson yet. So it's, um, you know, having to completely walk away from a connection, heal yourself, get past any negative speaking in order for somebody new to come in. But here, like, it, it's like saying it's not time because um, there's other things going on in your life here. Um, there could even be money issues here that you need to sort out first. Um, with the devil card, it can be that there's even temptation in your life or their life still. So they could still be acting from that energy, be tempted by somebody else or you could be you know like I say it goes both ways we have to be honest with ourselves and accept the things that maybe are in our life that need changing as well because even if they're the ones who did you wrong there may be something around you that you're doing that you want to change so when you've changed that you know if we're honest with ourselves and say this is what I need to work on this could be um, my ego so maybe I need to work on my ego if I've done this work then I'm open to somebody new coming in but it's just not time yet there's there's some healing to be done here with the four of swords reverse and the devil reverse so and we see a decision's not going to be made because we have the two of wands there reversed knight of swords so it's like the last conversation you had some truths came out it could have been quite hurtful truth because I'll say the Knight of Swords, although like they're speaking their truth, it's like somebody um, rushing in to argue and say, well, I found out you did this, you did that. And, you know, it's a conversation that's truthful, but also very hurtful. And that's why we sometimes call the Knight of Swords reversed reckless. Okay. Um, on what they're saying. So you could have even heard um, some sort of truth about them which made you like react a certain way. Okay, I'm gonna go out drinking. Okay, I'm gonna go out and do it. You know, I'm just giving an example. It doesn't mean that you did that. It's saying um, that, you know, there was a conversation where some truths came out, you know, very quickly in a short period of time which was very hurtful and there's, you know, some healing that needs to happen from this point on. So with the judgment reversed, it's not time yet, but it is coming with the three of wands upright. It is coming. The judgment being a major arcana will, you know, triumph over the minor arcana. So it's not time yet. Okay. We see somebody's coming, but not yet. Okay. Strength, yeah, there you go. Just hold on, hold on. We want to see the strength upright after the devil, okay? It means you have the strength to get through this. They have the strength to get through this, okay? You have whatever tools you need to get through this situation, to better yourself, to get yourself in a position where you will be open to new love or a new connection or you know, with somebody from the past, it's saying, you know, you have the strength to do this, so don't give up, 
stay strong here it could be a leo that some of you are dealing with we do see a lot of um fire here but you know we have swords we have cups and pentacles so yeah and we have storm asian uh, asian <laughs> storm angel collision of beliefs styles attitudes and energies okay and this is what we see here, you know, we see the Eight of Wands reversed and then the Eight of Cups upright. We see the Four of Pentacles upright and the Four of Swords reversed. This collision of energies and attitudes and, you know, this Knight of Swords is definitely about attitude, okay? So it's I'm, I'm feeling like very fast talking and that's why I feel like arguments because it can even be shouting, okay? So who can hear or get things communicated clearly even if it's the truth when it's this sort of energy very fast collision here it even says you know um of how to communicate with each other and um attitudes to what should happen but i'm definitely feeling this collision of energies here you know quite up and down the truth came out no doubt but you know it's still some things to be healed and when it's the right time that's when we will see this person or this communication coming in okay Sagittarius Merry Christmas